So today we are starting our discussion with strings, right? Actually, this is not uh, what I said, right? In while in previous video, that is in intro, I would be not using this word called string. I would have said vectors, maps, unordered maps, sets, and everything. Now, why I am talking about string is string has many inbuilt methods, right? At least at least ten I am going to discuss now. So using this, you can. Uh, you don't it read it reduces your code like anything so i thought of sharing this string video so let me share that one so string so let me create a string i have a here now what i can do with a here so one thing i can let me provide some string uh, data into it so let me enter a b c d right a b c d now now I need to use, I need to check this size. So obviously, obviously you will be knowing this. So size, how to check it? So see out. Let me print out the size. The share dot size. The size that is size. So this will give you the size of the string. If I run, I should be getting four. Right. So now. It can be done in other method. That is, you can check the length. So, C O U T S, then H T R dot L E N G T H length, and right. So it will give me again four. Now, the next uh, thing that I would uh, that next method that I am going to discuss is substring. That is, S U B H T R, right? You can get particular subset out of this string it is again easy so what i can do for that so i can like see out let me see out yes str dot sub sub str substring so substring so first of all what you need to mention here you need to mention uh you already mentioned this string right it is like calling a like in classes if you know like calling a object this would act as an object and you will call the method so that is how it works so now what i am going to give is index so from starting index where this substring should start for me so imagine i need to start from one after that size of this substring that is what i am going to mention so one is the index where you not, where you where you take the substring it is a starting letter of your substring and two represents the size of the substring what i need so let me print this i should get what so bc that is what i need to get so i am getting bc now i can use size i already done now let us let me use swap swap so is w ap swap so imagine you have string one right string string str1 which holds the value a b c and then there is again a string let me call it as str2 so let let the value be c d e so if i print this str1 then let me give some gap then let me print str2 now obviously it will print the data right E and E L. Now, what if I use swap here? So swap, you need to swap H T R one and H T R two. After that, you need to print again H T R one and H T R two. So it will swap the content of uh, both these strings. So that is what it does. So let me run. So you are getting A B C C D E again. E S C D E A B C, right? And the next inbuilt function that I am going to use is replace this replace please that means you need to replace one string that means a part of a string can be replaced to another string so let me explain you with that so let me take a string so let me call it as uh, yes right yes one so let it be a b c d e f then after that str in this string is two let it be equal to a or let me take x y z so how to replace this? You can again call the function. 
what is that you are going to call you are going to output s1 dot replace and inside that you are going to mention starting index again and after that you are mentioning the size that means you need to take out so let me explain you how it does how it is done so you have this uh, string called a b c d a b c d e you need to from here to here you need to take out this uh, take out this character and you need to stuff with like say x y z so after that your string will become what a x y z d e right so starting index here is what one how much character you are taking two so that is what i'm going to mention second after that i'm going to mention the string itself after that if i print i will get the result so starting from one after that size is two and then i'm going to mention the s2 that is a string itself so let us print what i get so you will get a x y z d f what i said that is happening right now and now let us talk about some general uh, string uh, inbuilt function that you should use and you will be using now so that is append right append if you want to append a string then you to another string so let me call uh, let me take a string hdri ng string hdri ng string has r uh, let me give the name as abc after that let me take a string called r2 so let me make this as r1 so this should be it should be xyz now let me print out or let me first push back r1 dot push push bsck back r2 right after that let me print r1 so it will simply push back all the elements of r2 sorry i was talking about append right sorry append append a p p e and append so push back for characters for append you need to do this insert so it's a b c x y z after that let me use append sorry push back p u s h push back so for that let me take a string let me call it as a so let it be a b c so now you need to push back a character so let me take a character let me call it as e h let me push back x right now a dot p u s h push b s c back you need to push back ch either you can simply mention here itself you don't need to create another character for that now if you print this let me print this a so your string would be looking like a b c x and a b c x now push then let, how to delete the last element again if you have push back then you will definitely have pop back right pop back so imagine you have a string so let me take that string as b so it has a b c now i will do b dot p u s h sorry pop p o p pop b s c k back right i don't pass anything right it is by default it will remove your last character so if i print i should get a b right after that how to find the index right how to find a particular index so find for that you use find so create a string let me call it a c let me make it as a b c d now you need to find so c dot find find so character let me give a that means it will return you zero means a is at zeroth index that is what it returns so zero should come okay now is it required to give a character no can also give a string so c out c dot find define after that let me give a b right after that let me run so it will give you or b c let me take b c that means first character index that is what it is going to be written so b is at first character so i need to get one so i got one so at last what you can do you can erase some 
length right so imagine i need to erase some characters right so i can use erase e r a s e erase function so let me make a string let me call it as d so let me take it as a b c d now inside that after that so i will call for s that is d dot e r a s e erase you need to erase from which index i need to erase from second index how much elements you need to index I, that i need to erase i need to erase three in three elements so for that let me increase the size of the string so if i do that then i should if i print what i need to get i need to get so from second index that is from c you remove three characters that means you need to get a b f g h a b f g h a b f g h right now last thing that i'm going to discuss is clear so you have a string so let me give it as e so a b c d so now if i print what it will be printing it will be printing a b c d obviously now i will call function called c l e a r clear so if i print now what it will be printing it will be printing nothing that means empty string so it will clear all the char characters from it so i need to get nothing so i am getting nothing so this is about this string so i think these are the most important uh, the inbuilt function that you can use in the next video i am going to cover the vectors and in the vectors i am going to talk about the iterators there itself so please don't miss the video because if you don't know how to run the iterator how to traverse the any container using iterators then again you can't study about uh, the maps and ordered maps or anything so my suggestion would be don't miss the next video so thank you